I'm going to show you how to password protect categories within any type of WordPress content. So we're going to use the password protected categories plugin, which works for all sorts of categories in WordPress. I'll just show you some. You can protect post categories. Uh, if you're using a plugin such as Easy Digital Downloads, um, then you can protect download categories, portfolio categories. You might have FAQ, custom post type or testimonial custom post type or whatever source of content has categories within WordPress, you can protect it using this plugin. If you're using WooCommerce and want to protect your WooCommerce categories, then we do have another plugin, which is WooCommerce Password Protected Categories, which is dedicated to WooCommerce um, and has a few extra features for WooCommerce, but password protected categories will work with WooCommerce as well. So let's get started. Before you follow the steps I'm about to show you, you need to get the password protected categories plugin. You need to install it on your website and activate your license key. And once you've done that, you can go to the categories page for any of your post types within WordPress and you can either edit an existing category and password protect it or you can create a new one, which is what I'm going to do now. So let's call it my protected category. This is all standard stuff for creating a category. The only thing which is different is the visibility section, which is what the plugin has added. You need to select password protected and enter your password. And you can also add more than one password if you want. And you can have as many as you like. You can add and remove them using the plus minus icons. And for example, some of our customers like to give a different password to each of the users who will be accessing their categories so that that allows them to, for example, revoke access to a user if they don't want them to access that content anymore. So you choose your passwords and then you click add new category. And I'm just going to show you how to add subcategories as well. And so this is a top level category and I've password protected it as you can see here. I'm now going to add a protected subcategory. And I'm going to select the parent as my protected category. Now the thing that is not what you might expect is that you do not select password protected for your subcategory. Leave it as public and click add new category. The reason for that is that the subcategory will automatically have the same password as its parent. So the passwords that we entered for my protected category are now protecting my subcategory. Let's just go to it and I'll prove it. So we'll go there. I went to the subcategory page and you can see that it is protected. So do not password protect your subcategories, just password protect the parent. The next step is to go to the posts, um, if that's the type that you're protecting, and password protect some of them. You can either go to the usual edit post screen or add a new post, or you can use quick edit, edit to quickly categorize your posts. And I'm just going to randomly add a few to the different types of protected category. If you accidentally put a post within a public and a protected category, it will be protected. And we've coded the plugin that way for security reasons. So I'm just randomly putting posts within my main and sub category and both just to show you how they work. So let's go to one of these posts now. So I'm going to click on the view screen and you can see that it has password protected it. And I'm going to go finally to the category screen and show you how I unlock a category and see what it looks like. So let's go to the screen for yeah, my main category. So I click view, I'm asked for the password and I need to add, try and remember my password. And then you click login and it unlocks the password, the category. You can now see all the posts that I put within that category and you can click on them and they will be unlocked too. Um, if somebody goes directly to the URL for a post, then it will be protected unless they have um, previously unlocked that category. So even if they get the link to a post, it will be secure and safe. And uh, it's also worth bearing in mind that there are plugin settings which let you choose whether to show or hide your protected content from the public areas of your site. So have a play with the plugin, protect some categories, some subcategories, and you'll, hopefully you'll find it really easy to use. Um, you just saw me setting it up in a few minutes and that's literally all there is to it. 
Thanks for watching.